there is like so much Dragon Ball content that is confirmed, and it's just like I wanted to cover it at all. So I don't know. I'm just doing one thing at a time, y'all. So I what might as well just start with the Jump Festa Dragon Ball schedule. So we gonna be focused on the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot specifically. So with all that being said, y'all, let's get into today's video. Now here is the list of Jump Festa, everything that's gonna be scheduled on those particular days. Um, it's mainly gonna focus around Dragon Ball content, such as Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, etc, etc. You guys know the vibes. But we are going to be specifically focusing on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot in this video. I might touch on a little bit things with Dragon Ball Super and all that jazz and just, you know, briefly get my thoughts about it. Um, I still need to do a little bit more dissecting and stuff like that. But for the most part, you know, I'm going to just, you know, wing it. But Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, it says... It is scheduled between 1500 between 1530. So if you convert that in uh, the 12 hours times, I, I forgot which, whatever it's called, but <laughs> in our normal time, cause that's military time in our normal time, that is three o'clock to 330. We have that much time, that much leeway for them to, you know, give us some type of information, whether it be new information. I'm pretty sure I don't think they will go over any old information because I mean, I mean, why would they? We already know, you know, anything's up for debate. Here's what I think that would be revealed that particular day, that particular session. Um, there's a possibility that Dragon Ball GT might get revealed. Any type of, you know, DLC after we finish the Dragon Ball Z um storyline i think dragon ball gt is a good possibility to get revealed you know as well or if not you know because it's kind of like you know wish you watching and stuff like the, the way the game set up and stuff i really think that it has a good chance that it might be some type of original story i mean because i mean if you look at the game um banya is in the game we don't know who banya is you know of course, we know who she is. She's a part of the Ginyu Force, but you get what I'm going with this? She's the original character for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, so I don't know. It's kind of like some hints up in there, like, you know, once we get done with the Z storyline, there might be some extra things that we can explore and or experience anything of that nature. So it, the way the game set up is it's a good chance that it might be some type of original story that um dragon ball z kakarot comes up with specifically when i say his name y'all don't laugh at me uh i might butcher it but um but somehow ryusuke or he goes by hara hara ryusuke something like that i definitely have it up on screen you know yeah <laughs> if not that you know if they don't say anything that's new or something that we haven't already heard, I can very much, I wouldn't say I'm not going to guarantee you, but I'm going to say I can very much assure you that it probably would be some type of Q and A. You know, I can definitely see that happening um, with a Q and A, uh, answering certain people thoughts and concerns about the game or confirming the confirmations of things that we thought that was going to be confirmed in the game whether that's going to be confirmed or not you know just like how they did a, you know, a couple months ago we thought dragon ball um, z movie characters was going to be confirmed in the game you see where they got us so we asked the questions we got to answer q a you know what i'm saying so i can definitely see that being in this session as well but i honestly think like here's my question like if i was at the event um i would definitely ask the question like how many hours is the game because you know this is an rpg based game it's not an online game at all so the hours kind of need to be you know kind of up there so we can experience the game to its maximum potential so i feel like that's a good question to ask as well i'm pretty sure you guys got some questions that you might want to ask as well let me know down below in the comments um because i know you guys come up with some good questions and some good points that you may have and stuff so let me know down below in the comments and you know what I'm saying we can get a pop <laughs> but um i'm just gonna briefly uh say what's all on the list as you can see that's up on screen um, the first one says the introduction 
of new Dragon Ball products and big present stage. So I'm just assuming like different um, figurines and figure action figures and stuff like that. I'm not gonna lie, they be looking actually quite high quality. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be down to see that because <laughs> I know they have some um, high quality action figures and stuff like that for people to buy and you know prop up on their uh, action figure stands and things of that nature. Um, next up, we have Dragon Ball Super. You know, hey, Dragon Ball Super. Now, what I've been hearing with Dragon Ball Super, honestly, a lot of people, well, I'm not gonna say a lot of people, but from what I have been hearing, they were they were saying there's a possibility that they're gonna announce like whether Dragon Ball Super is gonna be continued as an anime or is it gonna be in the movie format now. There's two sessions of Dragon Ball Super, so specifically um, Geekdom, shout out to Geekdom. He has good speculations and stuff. I heard that he was saying that um, one of them might be a Q&A, and the second one might be, you know, whether or not Dragon Ball Super is going to be continued as an anime or making his arrival back as a movie. Definitely look out for the Dragon Ball Super sessions because, you know, I don't know if you guys read the manga or not. I read the manga. It's, it's pretty good in my opinion. Um, the best Dragon Ball has ever been, in my opinion, like, because there's so many, many ways that they can go with it. I don't know, mirrors, <laughs> mirrors go crazy, y'all. Mirrors got the drip. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, but if you haven't watched the manga, go read the manga, please. If especially if you're a Dragon Ball fan, it, I think it's pretty good. You know what I will say, just you just gonna have to accept it. It's Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball gonna do what Dragon Ball gonna do. You know what I'm saying? So we just accept it for what it is. Next up, we got Dragon Ball Heroes. They got two sessions on here for that, like one for the 21st and the second one is for the 22nd. I don't watch Dragon Ball Heroes a lot. I mean, I did one reaction video, didn't do too well, so I didn't continue it. But let me know if you guys want me to react with it since I got a face. You know what I'm saying? I got the face cam now. You can see me in the flesh. You get what I'm saying? I know a lot of people, I definitely could say a lot of people on this one are speculating that um, they're going to announce uh, Gogeta Blue versus Hearts. You know, they're probably going to announce that particular fight and maybe give us a little teaser trailer, something along those lines. So definitely let me know what you guys think about that or anything that you would like to add down below in the comments. Next up, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle and Dragon Ball Legends. I personally don't play Dragon Ball Legends. Let me know if I should get into Dragon Ball Legends. I tried to get into it, didn't really like it. I probably got on it at a bad time, so let me know if I should, you know, try to get back into it. But DBZ Dokkan Battle, yes sir. <laughs> now I've recently been grinding Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, so I'm definitely hyped to see what they will bring to the table on that. I don't know what to expect in this session, so. I know a lot of you guys are probably pretty much heavy on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, so if you guys have any um, speculations or anything of that nature, let me know in the comments. I honestly don't know. Maybe they probably announced a whole bunch of new characters because they recently been going crazy. They been going crazy on the Japan side of things. They've been um, releasing Dragon Ball Hero characters on the JP side. A lot of them like Golden Form um, Cooler. I was about to say Freezer Cooler. You know, those characters, just know that. They even got like Dokkan now. As of me recording this video, I don't know anything about Dokkan now. They haven't released too much information on it. So, still looking forward to what that is. Um, I think they did actually. It's basically like they keep you updated with the news inside the app, which is pretty useful. So, instead of you like going on Twitter, looking at people like The Truth, D Free, you know, people like that. Uh, you can just look inside the app, click on the news tab, and they have all the information right there, and it'd be classified as new. Yeah, you can look at that. Next up, of course, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We just got done talking about that. Um, Super Dragon Ball Heroes. I don't know. I just <laughs> I had to look at their abbreviations. I was like, the 22nd, we had the introduction of new Dragon Ball products. Oh, I guess basically the same thing is the 21st on the first one um it's, i think it's basically almost a repeat of replica of what's going to happen on the 21st it's just um it's a 
they shorten it down just a little bit on the 22nd but basically the same titles are on the 21st this on the 22nd so it's pretty much all i have to say guys uh i will not be able to live stream this i will be at work unfortunately uh and no comment <laughs> but i can assure you um because i work all that weekend friday saturday and sunday um I will try to cover it, at least some of it on um, that following Monday. I know I might be a little late on the news, but you know, I'm gonna do what I can. I'm gonna do what I could have, what I could have. So um, with that being said, uh, uh, this is gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed the vibes of the video, make sure to leave a like on the video and share the video with your homies so more people can see this video and just bring more awareness to the video and let everybody know what's going on with the jump festa and things of that nature if you hit every now already if you knew um consider hitting that subscribe button to join the round and turn on post notifications so you won't miss out on the video with all that being said uh i'm gonna instant transmission to my next video